It's my pleasure to welcome back to the show Philadelphia 76ers All-Star Center Joel Embiid and Joel I was convinced all day after last night somebody from the PR staff was going to reach out and say no no we'll catch up down the road there's there's a better time uh, but I appreciate you sticking uh, sticking with uh, the visit tonight and and uh, and being back on so thank you oh uh, of course now, the night started great last night in Philadelphia. You got James Harden in his outfit uh, ringing the bell, and everybody's very, very excited. And I've heard so many thoughts of what he will be there. I'm interested in how you see it. What does James Harden and his skill set bring to your championship pursuit? I mean, uh, James Harden, you know, uh, you know, MVP. Uh, you, we know what he's done. Uh, in the league in the past, and uh, and I still believe that he can play at that level. Uh, and we're gonna try to get the best out of him, but you know, he adds another dimension to our offense. Uh, and you know, just being a playmaker and getting guys wide open, and obviously, is one of uh, maybe the best you know, shot creator uh, in league history. So, we're gonna try to take advantage of that. and you know, put him in, you know, positions where he can succeed and, and then he can also, you know, help the rest of the team. Before we got started, I was giving you uh, your praise that you've earned over your uh, level of play of the past month, and you said you can take it to another level. Does that include that hardened step back? I think we all saw that video from practice where you were doing that little crab step, that hop step. Please tell me that that's not going to be added to the arsenal, is it? He's, he, he actually already is in the Arsenal. Uh, if you watched last year, I pulled it off uh, twice. Uh, once uh, was against Cleveland, uh, yeah, which, but, you know, succeeded. But and hold then on, this hold on, hold You do the step back, but Harden's step back is a hop, a skip, and it's like, it's no, hopscotch. No, no. Like, if he's you, got one more little no, hop in there, doesn't he? <laughs> no, if you go back and watch, I actually did it the right way uh, yesterday. Uh, you know, I just, I just didn't feel it right. Uh, but I promise you, next time, you know, whenever I do it again, I'm gonna get it right. Uh, I got you know, you. That's, that's how I am. You know, I, I'm willing to learn and and add anything to my game. It's not your job, Joel, to make somebody else happy. I, I think we understand the past couple of years that James has been searching, right? It what Houston, the time had come, and then it didn't work in Brooklyn. What do you feel like between you and Doc and Daryl and all the team in the city can do to create a, a, an atmosphere there where this great player can can feel like this is home, this is where I want to stay and where I want to be? Uh, obviously, uh, he said a bunch, and uh, and I think he understands that you know we have a world chance. You look at yeah. you know the way I've been playing, uh, and you look at the rest of our team. Uh, the guys that we have ca that are able to contribute, that you, you just you just look at the whole city in general. Whether it comes to our front office, obviously it has a great relationship with Dell uh, from the years that they worked in Houston, and you know you add that to a top fifteen uh, coach of all time, and you know Coach Doc. Uh, I think you know we have everything that we need and. Uh, and that's why he wanted to be here. And he said it, you know, even when, you know, he wanted out of Houston, you know, that's what that was his first choice. And, uh, you know, we just go, you know, we just going to keep doing what we've been doing. Uh, we don't have to change anything. We just need him to just come and be himself. And, you know, we have a chance against anybody. Joel, if there is an NBA Twitter Hall of Fame, the guy in the suit is going to be in it. Nice suit, well-dressed, as you said. Had a little bit of swag. You're laughing. You know what it meant. I know what it meant. We all know what it meant. Are you content? I don't. You don't? <laughs> now, look, hold I, I mean, on I now. Just, hold on. I mean, the explanation for the tweet was that I just saw, you know, a nice man, you know, in a nice suit, you know, glasses on. <laughs> I mean, he has I'm some a grown swag, man. I just thought it was a great picture. Okay, I'm a grown man, and you're not going to sit here in Milwaukee in your, hand, in your nice room there and just lie to my face like this. We know what, we're, we know what that's about, and that's okay. I'm just, you can say something without saying anything. Are you content to let that tweet speak for itself? Oh, uh, well, I'm going to let the tweet speak for itself. But, okay. you know, like I said, you know, I'm sticking by what I said. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm just, you know, 
I, you know, as you see my name on Twitter, you know, Joel, Joel, and B, you know, you know, that middle uh-huh. name is there for a reason. So, you know, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, I'm just going with the vibe. And, you know, the vibe told me that, you know, that's a nice man, you know, with a yeah. nice suit on and, you know, he looked great and, yeah. you know, I should probably post him. Yeah, right now, when, when the guy that was here is gone, got traded, I'll just post it now. Let's just, let's move on to a different question about when, and you said you're done with that subject. When the subject of all the questions comes, it's back to town, it's March 10th, you know what that city can be like. What do you imagine the atmosphere will be like for, for Brooklyn's visit? Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be, uh, I mean, it's not just about, you know, that whole thing. It's also right. about the history with Brooklyn. And, you know, obviously us, you know, getting James, uh, you know, and, you know, Philadelphia fans, you know, sure. they're going to be, that's going to be incredible, uh, you know, whether it's the Bulls or the Cheers and, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be insane. Uh, and, you know, obviously uh, we know what we got to do. It's a regular season game, but, you know, uh, we know that it's going to be something extra to it. Uh, you know, I'm definitely going to be ready. Uh, I'm sure my teammates saw, but, uh, I mean, he's going to be fun. I'm excited. Yeah. I said before we started, Joel, I feel like you've played better this year maybe than you've ever played. And you've been at a high level, but there's, a, like, there's been another gear. And a scoring mm-hmm. title is a very real possibility. An MVP is a very real possibility. I get that the championship's the ultimate goal, but how do those mm-hmm. individual accolades you could earn how how much do those motivate uh it means a lot uh you look at last year uh unfortunately uh i got i got hurt right uh, you know i felt like i had a pretty good case uh you know being a number one seed then uh you know the numbers i was putting on uh but then again you know nicola deserved it uh sure. you know it was a it was a monster. Uh, so, you know, this year, really, all I got to do is stay healthy. But, you know, I always go back to winning. And, you know, for us to win, I have to be who I am. I have to be who I've been the whole season. Uh, you know, just coming in every night, uh, just trying to dominate, you know, anybody, really, whoever is in front of me. And just being myself, just being the playmaker, rebounder, uh, you know, best defender, best scorer. Uh, and, you know, I really believe that, you know, anytime I step on the court that I have the opportunity and the ability to really show that and, you know, uh, carry us to wins. I agree. But when you say there's another level, I'm just trying to figure out what that would even be. I don't know what else you're supposed to do or could do beyond just your health. What, is, what does that look like in your mind? Uh, I mean, we've, uh, you know, uh, me and my trainer, you know, we always talk about it. Uh, you know, my body feels great, um, but, you know, the last two seasons, I've really been working on it, and, you know, you can see the results, um, but I feel like it's still not even close to where it's supposed to be, and then obviously on the court, every single day, uh, just learning the game, I'm still getting better, you know, I still have a lot to learn, you know, I only started playing basketball, you know, 10, 11 years ago, uh, mm-hmm. so there's still a lot of stuff that I haven't use and there's a lot of stuff that I haven't seen uh, so it's just about me you know keeping the work that I've been putting in and you know just going out there and keep dominating but like I always say you know I feel, I've always seen myself as a complete NBA player so I can see myself you know definitely become even more of a complete NBA player as far as you know uh I feel like I can already do everything on a basketball court, but I want to take it to another level, whether it's, you know, ball handling and coming off screens and, you know, uh, you know, I already do a lot of shooting off the dribble, um, but, you know, even add, you know, other elements to my game and, you know, try to perfect it. Well, that's the, the best are never satisfied. That's why they become who they become, and you're well on your way. And I, I'll close with this because you're right. Winning is most important. The championship's most important. I'm looking at your schedule today. You got basically two months from right now until the end of it before the playoffs start, and now you add this significant piece. Joel, what has to happen in a wide-open race this year? I don't think there's one obvious favorite. What has to happen between now and then to give Philadelphia its best chance to to have a parade and win a title? Man, it's just tough. Uh, You know, you can look at 
you can look at seven teams uh, that you 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 can you know that you can believe that they have a shot at you know going to the finals, and uh, it's gonna be tough. But I think you know for us, you know, obviously health is key. Uh, we just gotta all stay healthy, and you know we gotta get on the court. Uh, you know, all together to find you know the right way to play. You know, are we all fit? And, you know, that's that's going to be easy. I'm not worried about that. But, you know, we just need to, you know, really spend a lot of time on the court. And it just doesn't mean games, whether it's practices or shooting rounds, you know, talk to each other and, you know, do, really trying to figure it out, you know, the best way out of, to make sure that everybody succeeds. Speaking of the East, the champs of the East, the champs of the NBA, Milwaukee up next on Thursday, then the All-Star break. Joel, stay healthy, first of all. Keep doing what you're doing and, uh, you know, if you see any guys in suits that you feel like you should post on Twitter, by all means, man, do your thing. I appreciate your time very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.